Uh, my name is uh, Drew Thomas, and I work for uh, PowerMax Engineering, and I'm going to do a, a couple of uh, demos today. They're pretty quick, um, but uh, they feed into well into what uh, Vince was covering. So first, we're going to look at um, the SRDF Metro, the Smart DR, that uh, um, allows us to do both local HA uh, as well as uh, at a region DR. So this is different than having, let's say, uh, a local HA active active solution where you might have a DR off of either array, and therefore you're reliant upon a single array talking to that remote array. In this case, what we've done is we've allowed both arrays to talk to the DR site, and either one can send the data down to it uh, to maintain um, uh, synchronicity between all of the boxes. And that way, if you lose one of the HA regions, you still have the other one, and it's still reporting down to the DR. If there was a catastrophe and you lost the entire metro region, um, then you'd be able to go down to the DR site and have all the data that was synchronized between the active active. Um, this solution works really well for uh, Oracle Metro um, cluster. If you have an extended Oracle rack environment and you want to run VMware Metro Storage cluster, uh, you can do that uh, with this uh, DR solution. Um, and so what I'm going to show you is how easy it is to set up. Basically, it's a you know a step by step that you can walk through. So let's bring it up here. So the way that we do the um, wizard is that you start with a storage group. So I would have a storage group that I've presented down to a number of hosts, ESX hosts, um, and I'm going to go in and protect it. So I'm going to select that storage group and I'm going to say protect. And we have all these different options available to you um, from local snapshots down to SRDF. This would be A or synchronous or adaptive copy. But here, what we want to do is DR with uh, SRDF Metro DR. So we click through here. It brings us up. Everything is already uh, populated for us. It gives us our arrays. So I have multiple arrays. Obviously, I need two. I need one for uh, the HA. I need one for the DR. So I'm selecting this as my HA location. It's going to automatically create groups for me. It's going to establish the pairs. It's going to create the remote storage group. And you can choose whether you want to use data reduction, which we recommend um, uh, to use all the time. So I click through, and now here's my DR site. So again, my array, it's going to automatically pick the correct array because I've already chosen the other one for my HA. Uh, mode is asynchronous, and again, automatic setups, and it's going to create the remote storage group for me. So I click through, it provides here all the different things it's going to do, and then up here, going to give it a name, you know, how you want to refer to this particular environment. Go down and say run. That's it, and it will run through all the tasks here um, for you to create all the groups as well as synchronize all of the data. So this is pretty quick, but I'm just going to jump over and show you one that's already complete. Um, again, since we uh, want to keep uh, our eye on time here. So I'm going to look at this A1 I have configured here. OK. And on the right hand side here, you'll see I have something um, uh, called I have my SRDF configured here, but I also have something called Metro DR environments. So if I click on this, yes. It's going to come out and give me all sorts of detail about the environment. So it gives me the status, tells me the metro status and the DR status. So this would be, am I properly synchronizing to my HA location? Am I properly synchronizing to my DR? Environment status, have I presented this to hosts? You know, is it available? Um, on the right-hand side, I can get a little bit more detail if I want to get a graphical interface uh, of what this looks like. And if I hover over on any of the arrays, it will again give me the information about um, whether or not you know the host is mapped, it's paired, um, how the health is for each one, and I can do that for each of the different arrays involved in the relationship. So it's really um, you know quite simple. It's fast. Um, if I come over here, this is the one I was running. You can see it's done already. Uh, everything's synchronized. Everything's ready to go. So it's a, it's a really easy way to enable both 
you know, uh, local HA for your environment, as well as uh, remote DR in case of uh, uh, a catastrophe. 